All right, what's going on, everyone? It is your friend Keith here again, live in the live room at Essex Recording Studios with co-owner, producer, and mix engineer extraordinaire. Well, just all, not just mix engineer, all around engineer extraordinaire, Mr. James Curtis Thomas. And today we're going to be recording drums on this insane vintage '70s Ludwig uh, anniversary kit. Really, really cool. Has these uh, inlaid eagles um and it sounds massive but james has a really cool collection of microphones and does some really interesting techniques that he's going to talk about here in this video so uh take it away mr james what are we working with today uh, that, yeah well i'm gonna go through all the mics uh i thought we'd go straight down with the kick drum kick drum okay what do we so got here the kick drum we have a fet 47 Norman FET 47 These yes are the u47 yeah. fet um quite a standard thing you see on there uh, kick drums, uh, I think it sounds great. Tons of low end. Okay. Um, on the inside, inside, yep, we see it we have, there. We've got a Beta 52. It's Industry standard for recording kick drums, yeah, right? I like them. I prefer them over the D112. Okay. With that, but, and then if we come over to the Tom Toms, yes. we have our beautiful, with the worst clips ever, <laughs> Sennheiser 421s. Got it. And these are pretty cool. So you've got one there, and you've got another one, one hiding four. over there. Okay. So Our overheads. Overheads. Now, this is my fault because I had to be a little bit different, so I bought a, a black one and a silver one, but they're both identical yeah, they're, mics. We've, we've, we've done a, now you know which one's left uh, and right. Well, yeah, that's it, actually. Uh, and these and are the... They're the U87s. Neumann U87s. Okay, so more Neumann action the going on. on these. Um, okay. I think they're great on cymbals. They're kind of spotting at the moment. We've got the pad on. What does that mean? It's like a for us non-engineers. Yes, yeah, gotcha. You, it, you know, if it's too loud, it will attenuate. By it's like a filter, kind of. No, no, or no. Cut it's off like or a volume knob. Vo okay, got it. All right, um, cool. I like these uh, stands. These are seriously uh, oh, yeah, heavy these duty. Are the nuts. What are these things? KMs. They're uh, overhead microphone tiff. Koenig and Myers. Yeah. Okay. They look, duty. what do we say here in the UK? The bollocks? Yeah, the they're business? They're the bollocks. They're the bollocks, yeah. okay. So we've got them. All right. And then kind of cool here. Well, we'll go around here first. On okay. The, uh, uh, snare drum. I'm trying out a new microphone that got sent to us from uh, SE. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's the V7X. Um, SE V7X. Yeah. SE. Got it? Yeah. And uh, what's so cool about these apparently is, is that they're a hypercardioid, um, so it's going to reject from the back a bit more. Um, I just heard some good things about them, so we're trying it out today. I'm, I'm sure it'll be great. And on, on the bottom, we've got a short SM57. Okay, yep. This one's slightly modded. I've taken the uh, transformer out of it. Uh, it means you need a bit more game. Um, I think you get a bit more thump and low end on it. Okay. Very easy to do. All you've got to do is boil them and it just pops straight out. All right. So, and then on the uh, hi-hat. You're serious too? You boil them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it apart. Take the uh, uh, the wires off. Yeah. And you boil it and the glue. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. On the hi-hat, Neumanns again. More Neumanns. And we've got right. KM 185s. 185s. We've got two of them. We've got yeah. one there. These are just... We've got one over here. Good clarity on them. That's, that's it. I think they're fantastic. Sometimes I'll slap another dynamic microphone on the side. Okay. I've seen a few people do that. Uh, I just never do it really. But that's cool. That's nice. So what's kind of cool about it? Down here, we've got yeah. this. Now, I've stolen this off Sylvia Massey. Yes. So I went out in the shed today and went and found a hose pipe that goes to the swimming pool. Yeah, I'll need that back, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure. So, and as you can see here, it's perfect, the perfect fit. fit. Yeah. For a short, what is that, a, a 58? A 57. 57. Two 57s. So we've got one, so we've got left, one there. And then we've got one right. And you were playing it in the control room and it sounds wild. It's super low fi it cuts out with the cymbal bleed. Um, you get a great stereo image. Brilliant. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to come out yet, but I think we've got compression, some cool EQ. We might throw it through a delay. I'm not sure, but I'm... We'll have some fun with it. Why yeah. not, you know? <laughs> Why not? And then over here... Yes, um, these these things look super cool. Yeah, these are cool. Normally use Roy's. Um, I mean, coals. Coals. Sorry, you usually Roy's. use the coal uh, ribbon mics, the BBC and mics. These are uh, Cascade Fatheads. Cascade Fatheads. They're, they're an inexpensive mic. Okay. I think they look and sound great. So I'm using these in MS mode. MS. Is, yeah, mid-side. Okay. It was a BBC uh, technique. So basically what we're doing is 
is this is our um, mid. Okay. And that's our side. And that's our side. And basically, what you do is you mold that out to two tracks. You flip the phase on one of them, and then you get this super massive stereo. So as you bring up this one, which is now two tracks, left and right, and then you've got a middle, you can widen. Oh, that's so cool, man. Which is really cool for a room like this, because obviously it's not the biggest room in the world, but you can make it somewhat. And actually, if you see where I... Got Dave supervising you. over there. He approves. Thank you, Mr. Grohl. Actually, they're going through a set of neat 1073s. Um, oh, for, for Mike Priest. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, but what I've done here is, is I've chosen, this is the middle of the drum kit. Okay. Rather than here, so we can keep the kick and the snare kind of smack banging. I've knocked that, but smack bang in the middle. Um, what else we've got? Ah, and something else, uh, just as a, a little try and see how it works, is I've set up the PA system on either side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. What we're doing is, is we're feeding the PA system, the kick, snare, and the tom. So I've gated the, uh, the toms and the snare, just trying to get as much single bleed out of them as possible. And I'm going to pump that back through the room whilst I'm playing, hopefully to get a bigger snare and tom sound. So gotcha. See how that sounds. It might be that... It doesn't quite work whilst tracking, but then we'll re, you know, reamp the kit through the room, and then we'll just record all the mics. I'm pretty sure that'll sound pretty rad. And the last thing I'm thinking of doing, I haven't done it yet, another Sylvia Massey technique, is to uh, put a weight on the uh, sustain pedal of the piano, of the Brechstein. Oh, to allow it to resonate. You lift up the, and then what we'll do is the lid. We'll, we'll get the chord, uh -huh. the, uh, the notes of the uh, key that we're playing in, and let's see, we'll just see how that, you know. Oh, that's so interesting. Why not? I think it's going to be pretty cool to give it a go. And then also, uh, I know I've seen you employ this technique a lot of times, is you'll come out of the room into the hallway, oh, yeah. and you'll have like a stand, let's say like right where you're standing right we'll now. Put, we'll put two, two mics out here. Yeah. Um, again, you know, it's a massive sound. We can put them down the hallway. Uh, just to get more room, keep the doors open, yes. keep the doors closed. Uh, that works really, really, really well. And then in here in the uh, control room, we've got, like you said, here's our mic pre selection. Yeah. So we've got a lot of API, a lot of Neve, focus, right? Yeah. And then obviously a whole desk full of SSL, uh, some Empirical Labs channel strips over there. Yeah. So uh, so what what's kind of going to what over here? So here. Yeah. Um, we're going to have... Uh, so you got overs written on the... So we've got the overheads 1073. The 1073. Yeah. Um, Rack says, and to uh, floor toms there? Um, that, so here it says okay. uh, snare top and snare bottom. Okay, I've got, gotcha. I've got, I've just put the runes into them now. Okay. Um, and then below it we've got the kick in, which is this uh, channel the strip. API, the API yeah. channel strip. And then we've got the kick out, uh, which is a uh, second channel strip. Okay. Uh, then we've got the tom, rack tom coming through the uh, 7600. Uh, uh, which is another API, and then we've got the floor tom going through the other uh, 7600, and then down here we've got the uh, snare drums coming into these two hose pipes going into them. Oh, and so then, cool! Um, I forgot what's going into here, and then the guitar, which is mic'd up in another room, is coming through the uh, 8801. Yeah, yeah, man. And then we'll—I well, uh, don't know what compression we're going to use yet, but we'll, we'll sure we'll get around to it. Well, we've got plenty of choices for uh, compressors over here. That is. For sure. Yeah, the uh, overheads are going to go through these. I'm going to go through the Poltec EQs. Yeah. This yeah. is now I'm going to parallel off the Distressor. Okay. And then um, that might be it for compression on the way in. Gotcha. But yeah, that's no, going to be pretty cool. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Thanks for informing us of, of generally how you set up a drum kit, uh, how you mic it, where you place the mics, uh, why you do it, and then your choice of... Mike Prees for getting the James Curtis Thomas signature sound. And if you want to hear some great examples of uh, uh, drum tracks that were done by you, I would say uh, Aaron Buchanan and the Cult Classics. That's this album here. Go on to Spotify. Check it out. All the things you've said and done. They're on uh, the A-list rotation on Planet Rock Radio right now. And then I think uh, Classic Rock Magazine listed them first as the top record last year it's been re-released since they've been signed pin up alt pin up yeah, yes go on spotify there. too pin up alt milk is their debut ep uh they sound great. awesome great. for sure and then we're working with a band right now youth illusion who's in the studio they just brought us their signature beer 
Where is it there? Youth Illusion, 7% IPA. Yeah, we're going to be having a few of these. So uh, I think this is good for an extra 20 horsepower and uh, great for EQing, uh, analog EQing yeah. the, the mix, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. It's going to get loud. Sorry. Awesome. Well, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, little video here, but we're going to be doing a lot more just like this. So please subscribe to the channel, click like, join the circle of friends. We've got over 2,000, I think we're about 2,200 people, dude. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel right now. And uh, if you find it informative or have any comments to make, love, uh, hate, hate mail, love, hate mail, you know, but uh, put it all right down there in the comments section and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The studio, of course, is at Essex Recording Studios. And James, you are? At Mixed by JCT. At Mixed by JCT. JCT, of course, being James Curtis Thomas. And you've got your own producer page on Facebook as well. I do. If they just search uh, James, James Curtis Thomas. Dash Thomas. Yeah. Boom. Done. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. See you all later.